Let's walk through how to roll over a credit put spread. You can apply these steps to any strategy. Here I am in the Interactive Brokers Desktop Classic TWS window. You can find it under Templates. The following is my credit put spread position in Alibaba stock. It is about to expire tomorrow. I had purchased 170 strike and sold 175 strike. I want it to roll forward to November 26th, say with different strikes. Select the position and right click it. A rollover icon will appear at the top. Simply click on it. At the bottom of this new window, I see two legs that are the opposite of my current holdings. The application knows that you wish to close your current positions first and then you would want to open a new one with your chosen strikes and expiry date. To find the expiration date that you are looking for, scroll down this list. You can change the range of expiration dates here. Let's start with leg 1. Click here. The app is now waiting for you to select the option type strike and expiry for the position you have selected. To buy, I will select November 26th expiry and strike 155. One more leg needs to be changed. I would like to sell the 160 strike put for the November 26th expiry. Let's take a moment to look at what has happened so far. With the first two legs, leg 1 and leg 2, we are taking the reverse of the trades to close our current position. We sell our long position and buy our short position. In leg 3 and 4, we are taking in new positions where we have chosen new strikes and expiry dates for put options. Consider the margin impact of your trade. Experiment with several combinations for strikes, option type and expiry. If you change your mind about strikes and expiry, clear the legs and start over. You can see that this price shows up as a debit because we chose lower strikes. If you prefer, you can use other combinations to make it a credit trade. Now let's try November 26th sell 170 strike put by 160 strike put. We now see a credit for our set of trades. Your best option might be to pick the mid price and submit it. It all depends. Ensure that you have all the trades as you expected. The trade for October 8th ends and the trade for November 26th begins. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Check out our other videos on Mathematics for Finance. Thank you.